Yeah. If President Trump is allowed back on the platform. He hasn't actually come back. Right. But one would imagine if and when he does, or there are others who will say 2020 election was rigged. Is that something, I assume that's not something you believe. I, well, I think the, the, the answer, the answer is, is, is nuanced. It, it, like, do, do I believe uh, uh, Biden won? Um, yes, I believe he won. And you voted for him. I did, actually. Do you regret that? I mean, man, I, I wish we could have just a normal human being as president. That's what I want. Obviously, you're not happy with Biden. Don't we all just want a normal human being to be Whatever the president? Whatever that means. You want somebody who's competent. Yeah, That's they, helpful. Yes, I, I think uh, def definitely... Um, Somebody's executive ability is underrated since the president is effectively the chief executive officer of the country. Um, it, it actually matters if they are a good ex executive officer. Are they good at, at getting things done? There's a lot of decisions that need to be made every day. We want a good CEO of America. We, I, let's talk about free speech a bit. You know, you call yourself a free speech absolutist. You want Twitter, and this is a I mean, aspirationally. Aspirationally, you want Twitter to be as truthful as possible, most yeah. accurate source of information about the world. Um, so what does that mean for how you police lies on the platform? You mentioned community notes. Is that the I think, extent of it? I think community notes, yeah. I mean, I'd say, so my overall kind of vision for X or Twitter is uh, to be a cybernetic collective mind for humanity. Uh, you want to have uh, information move quickly, have that information be uh, accurate, and you want to have error correction on that information. So you can think of community notes as like an error correction uh, on information in the network. Because if somebody knows that they're going to get noted, uh, they are less likely to say something that is false uh, because it's embarrassing to get community noted. You, you tweeted this thing about George Soros. Well, I'm looking for it because I want to make sure I quote it properly. But I mean, you know what you wrote. But you basically, I said it reminds me of my Nito. This is like, you know, calm down, people. This is not like made a federal well, case out of it. <laughs> you, also, no, <laughs> you said he wants to erode the very fabric of civilization and Soros hates humanity. Like, when you do something like that, do you yeah, think Yeah, I think about, that's true. That's my opinion. Okay, but why share it? Why share it? Especially, I mean, why share it when people who buy Teslas may not agree with you? Advertisers on Twitter may not agree with you. Um... Why not just say, hey, I think this. You can tell me. We can talk about it over there. You can tell your friends. But why share it widely? I mean, uh, I, this is freedom of speech. Do your tweets hurt the company? Are there Tesla owners who say, I don't agree with his political position? because, And I know it because he shares so much of it. Or are there advertisers on Twitter that Linda Yaccarino will come and say, you got to stop, man. Or, you know, I can't get these ads because of some of the things you tweet. There's a scene in The Princess Bride. Great movie. Great movie. Um, where he confronts the person who killed his father. And he says, Offer me money. Offer me power. I don't care. See, so you just don't care. You want to share what you have to say. I'll say what I want to say, and if, 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 uh, if the consequence of that is losing money, so be it.